that we're not going to have this. As Christians, yeah, we might feel that, but we know that God provides. Yeah. We don't know how. Sometimes we don't know how the money stretches. We know, we look at the bank account and we think, God, how is this money going to get us to the end of the month? But it does. And some. You know how you sometimes, you know, as the mother, I have two children, well, they're not children, they're big men now, but, you know, every now and again, one might say, oh, mum, have you got 50 quid to lend us? You know, and I think to myself, you guys have got, you know what I mean, you've got none of the outputs, you know. I must have about six compassion children and, a, a, you know, a tie to this, I do to that, and, you know, all these little things that I just, I'm, I'm a missionary at heart, you know, I've been on many mission trips, and I do give a lot to different things, and I'm thinking, you guys do nothing, you know. You do nothing, you go to work and you get your big bucks and you say, Mom, can you lend us 50 quid? You know, but you know something? Even in this climate, I can still find the 50 quid to lend them. And that is God. And I want to encourage you, you know, church, I want to encourage you. Times are hard, but there's so many scriptures, so many scriptures. You know, Psalms 32, 7, 8 says, you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye and keep my eye on you. That's God talking to us. He's telling us these things. And yet the world, you know, you, you turn on the news and it's doom and gloom and gloom and doom. That's all you get on the news. This is happening there, this high cost. They're talking about blackouts to come and all this. But I want to encourage you, brethren, do not worry. Do not worry. It says, the Bible tells us not to even worry what we're going to eat tomorrow. You might think, come on. You know, some of them are saying, God, really? Really? But he tells you, what he tells you is, you know, he's a faithful God. He's not a God that he would lie. If he tells you he's going to provide for you, he's going to watch over you, he's going to be with you, he'll never leave you or forsake you, that's exactly what he's going to do. Can any of us testify to that in here? How God's provided for them? You know, we're living in a time, and I've been speaking about this a lot lately because it's something that's really gripped my heart. You know, the... Obviously, through the pandemic, there's a lot of mental health issues that come from. And mental health is, you know, it's a real thing. It's mental health, you know what I mean? And it's, you know, the COVID has pushed a lot of people into mental health and anxiety. Anxiety is now the new buzzword. And it's not just anxiety, it's my anxiety. <laughs> anxiety is a real thing, so don't think I'm, I'm knocking because it's not, it's a real thing. And for the world, anxiety will push you down. It will tear you apart. But as children of God, anxiety is the opposite to faith. Anxiety is worrying about something that never actually happens. It's like a rocking chair. Keeps you busy all day. But where do you go? Nowhere. Anxiety is like that. It's a crushing thing, you know. I've seen people with anxiety and they can't breathe. You know, and it is a real thing. I'm saying, for the world, I can understand how they feel like that. But as Christians, our faith should be in God. We should be, instead of talking about my anxiety all day long, what about my faith? My faith in God says that I might feel like this and I might feel like that, but my faith in God tells me that, I have, that he can break strongholds, he can deliver me from this, he can calm my nerves, he can calm my spirit. Um, Tori there is a girl that has suffered with extreme anxiety. Would you even know that today when she was a peer court in Psalms 27? Because she stood on that chapter which says, and you will put me on your rock. Yeah. And she did that in his strength. And that's what I'm trying to say today. Our strength is in God. Do not lean on our own understanding. Because if we lean on our own understanding, we will fail and we will be cast down. And we will be like Elijah. Elijah was a big man of God. And he ran off and sat under a bush and wanted to die. But even in that, who came and fed him? and brought him back to himself, God. And that's what I want to encourage every single one of you 
in here today. I know some of you have got some crisis going on in your life. It might not even be the financial situation. It might be unruly children. It might be an unruly husband, an unruly wife. It might be the boss at work. It can be anything. It can be a neighbor that's really trying. But listen, you have hope in Christ. God can keep you. You know, I've known people tell me that God has made the next door my neighbor move. They pray for the next door neighbor to move. <laughs> and they move. <laughs> they move. This next door neighbor from hell. And they've got the fasting and the praying. They started to have, they get their other friends and neighbors in. And they started to pray. And before you know, it's a sale sign. It's on the door. <laughs> we can trust in God for everything. You know you've got things to be and things to do. You know that essay needs to be in. Some of you are studying and you know your, your mind's fogged up. You can't get this essay in. Listen, speak to God. Speak to God. You know he's interested in the simple things. Simple things. There's one of the girls at Hope House the other day. She was going mad looking for a, 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 one of her teaching manuals. You know, she couldn't find it. She drove me mad. I said, I don't want to hear about that teaching manual again. Stop worrying. <laughs> and she told me the other day that one of the other advisors prayed about it and the a manual turned up right on the desk. <laughs> I personally think it was always on the desk. But God just yeah. opened her eyes and made her remember that's where it was. But God still is in the business of the tiny things. It's not just the big things, it's the tiny things. He cares about every single aspect of your life. And that's what I want to leave you with today. He says, do not worry. Do not be anxious for nothing. <coughs> be anxious for nothing. Pray <coughs> and ask him. He will not give you a stone when you beg him for bread. He's a faithful God, even in these hard times. Amen. Amen. Amen.